Hi, I'm Carmen with Virgo Productions, and we're here at the Hip Hop Rev movie premiere, where the focus is going to be on green technology. We will be speaking with some of the advocates this evening, and we're looking forward to just finding out how we're going to save the world. At what point in time did you decide that that you would go green? Well, you know, firstly, what even I would say wasn't even my vision per se. It was really so many young people in the 21st century who wanted to get engaged in this new clean energy movement. Um, I think in the 20th century, you know that the movement was around equality, uh, you know, uh, us, us being here together. In the 21st century, it was about, literally about existence. It's about clean water, clean air. It's about having resources, energy. I think this generation became almost a civil existence movement for the 21st century. And I think that that was what propelled. But I think they were using culture uh, to kind of shape their political experience. And I just kind of came in the fold, uh, maybe just being a little bit unorthodox, being a, a minister and deciding to go to the streets instead of the suites or the steeple, so to speak. And I think that's what propelled this movement. And so from that, the Hip Hop Caucus was born, the movement has grown, and I think it's really the people power that propels this process. Very good. We, you talked about the 21st century and the children. Um, how do you foresee the green technology movement in, the, let's say, the next 30 years and the effect that it will have on our children and our grandchildren? Well, I mean, it's, it's tremendous and it's so important. I mean, if we don't get it right, we're already seeing wars. A race for fossil fuels. We're seeing disasters, the BP oil spill, um, coal power plants being put in communities of color. Uh, we're seeing uh, so many attacks on, on those kind of things. And I think that what we are seeing now is that if we don't get it right, um, 11 years into the 21st century, uh, there will be some disastrous results for our children's children. And so I think that this generation uh, is recognizing that. And so a part of that they are fighting pollution, but they can also fight poverty at the same time. So not only can they fight pollution and take on those challenges, but then we can create green jobs, so we can create green technologies. And I think that's what links this thing together, that we can fight poverty and pollution at the same time, and people can come out and they can be a part of this movement right now, make money, but also for future generations, be, be able to protect our children's future your campaign for green technology and the industry. How do you feel that the industry and the campaign, your campaign, um, can work in the future to make the world a better place? You know, this is not just a green jobs moment. It's about, it's really is a clean energy movement. And clearly we want green entrepreneurs, uh, you know, different from the industrial revolution, the green economy can bring more people of color into this process. So that's exciting. So we want to see people who are creating, uh, you know, wind turbines and solar technology. We want to see all of that. And again, but the root cause of that is not only can they make resources and make money, but also they can be in a position where they can protect our environment and protect our, our, our world in the future. <laughs> we just like to thank you for well, thank you so and, and your cause, and we wish you the best of luck no, and congratulations on the documentary and the premiere. Oh, definitely. Make for, for this cause, definitely. About that? Absolutely. Planet Green is Discovery Communications Network for you know, emerging trends, emerging uh, uh, cultures, but one of the things that the network does is it keeps an eye on sustainability and environmental issues. And as such, it was only a natural thing for the network to air uh, Hip Hop Rev as, you know, in all honesty, it's hard to imagine anybody doing anything more than what the Reverend is doing to reach out to kids on the street to let them understand the importance of, you know, maintaining the environment because what happens today will affect the future. Absolutely. Um, Chris, with the movement of the, camp, of the Green Campaign, how do you feel that that will affect the future of, let's say, the next 30 years or with our children um, and our grandchildren? Well, honestly, I think that... Um, I really hope that it does because our hope at Planet Green was that kids would see this and it would make them think this is somebody, it, it's not necessarily uh, some high-minded environmental study. It's something that young people can see and understand because it, it sounds like you know, it will be spoken in words that they understand and it's music that they uh, gravitate towards. So. 
that's the best way to get a message across. So this could be a show and a film that can really make a difference in forming attitudes for the kids who are really going to determine the future of this country, this planet, more so than just about anything else. Absolutely, and, and we're more than aware of the good job that Discovery Channel does with a lot of the other different things that they have going on. How do you feel um, the combination with the industry and the world can combine to make a better place? Well, honestly, one of the things that Discovery Channel, especially, along with Planet Green and our other networks, one of the things that we really try to do is to get people to fall in love with the Earth. And if you fall in love with the Earth, then you're going to take care of the Earth. So